Conyers School in Stockton-on-Tees, where 221 brand new Year 7s will be spending the next five years of their lives. This time we're following Adam, Alex and Libby on their first few days at secondary school. Well, I'm really looking forward to going to secondary school. There's that next step up with all the challenges that's going to come in Conyers. It was good being in year six because you were at the top of the school and everyone looked up to you. But now when we go into year seven, we're going to be at the bottom and we have to start again. My worst nightmare to go at Conyers would be not having any friends. Or oh, I might have it later. I'm not feeling like eating. Time for Alex, Adam and Libby to take their very first steps into Year 7. First, there's a welcome assembly. OK, can we just follow in nice and steadily, please? Given by assistant head, Mr Skerry. Good morning, Year 7. Good morning. OK, we've deliberately organised today so that it feels as normal as an everyday at Conyers. The idea is to get you into our Conyers life as quickly as possible. Everyone's got a little butterfly in their stomach, but you should also feel happy about where you are. After assembly, the New Year Sevens are all divided into their tutor groups, where they'll do the register and meet their classmates. Alex is in Form 7CG with Miss Gibbons. OK, and my surname is Gibbons, OK? G-I-B-B-O-N-S, OK? Like a monkey, if, any, if you ever forget. Adam and Libby are both in 7AG with Mr Glenn Denning. Good morning, 7AG. Welcome to Conyers. Uh, as most of you will now know, I'm going to be your form tutor for the next possible seven years. Isn't that exciting? Who's nervous? Hands up. Can you just call me Mr Glenn Denning or Sir? Libby's anxious because none of her friends from primary school are in her tutor group. She spent her summer holidays worrying about it. When I first walk into my tutor group, I'm going to be by myself. I won't be with my friends. I think anybody would worry about if you're leaving your friends behind and then you're moving into a different class. Right. Okay, I'm going to do the reg. When I do the reg, when I do the reg, that's, that's how you say it. I'm down with the kids. When I do the registrar, like everybody be silent and just quickly say, yes, sir, or yes, or morning. Sam. Yes, sir. Jess. Morning, sir. Harry. Yeah. Libby. Yeah. My name, can somebody remind me? A terrible memory. Mr. Glenn Denning. Mr. Glenn Denning. Thank you. It is a big deal. It'll be a, a, a big change going from primary school where they're all together. I can see in their eyes a lot of them are still quite nervous at this point, but that's to be expected. It's their first week. <laughs> Registration done. It's time for our Year 7s to start lessons. First lesson of the day for Alex is geography. The whole purpose of this, guys, is we're looking for effective teamwork. The class are being split into teams to survey the school and draw up a map. It should help them find their way around. With 80 classrooms, dozens of staff and support officers, two canteens, two gyms, six tennis courts and a football pitch, it's easy to get lost when you're new here. I'm only giving you 40 minutes to go and get the information and to come back, OK? That's not a massive amount of time. Do not disturb other people. All it takes is one person to go screaming past a window, a teacher to complain, and we're not allowed to go out outside during lessons anymore. OK, every bum should be on the seat at 5-2. Everybody got that? Yeah? I'm going to watch. Alex has been really looking forward to the Year 7 lessons. Let's hope it lasts. I really like challenges. Other people, there may be difficulties for them, but I don't think there will be for me. I think I'll just, like, roll on with it, just take it as a breeze, just walk past. No, I know what I'm doing now. It's all right. It's all right. I've got it. 
It looks like everyone's got stuck in, although this mapping business can be thirsty work. Wow, you just really want to go in, you. Why don't you go in and have a go and relax? You got the table toilet. It's over there. Oh, I think I thought it was blocked too. Hang on. Didn't Miss say they had to keep in? quiet? Too late, here she comes. I'm standing around the other side of the block and I can hear you. It's just it'll be every single lesson around here. You just keep your voices down. Alex has finished the task in record time. But classmates Kieran and Katie are still debating the points of the compass. Never eat shredded wheat, naughty elephant squirt, water, no, Ellie slaps Wendy. What? 7AG have science with me, Mr Thorburn. Uh, right, guys, uh, bad weather rule. If it's like this, get yourselves in. Come on. Which is great news for science geek Adam. It's great news for everybody, surely. Are we going to be uh, changing the fire's colour by putting chemicals on them? Yeah. Should, should actually, should, should we be doing that? I don't know. You want to? <laughs> yeah. No, I'll do that. This is extremely hot, right? Thousands of degrees. Very, very dangerous. Okay. Science is a big deal for me because I'd like to maybe get a job in it as an astronomer or a chemist. Right, this bit up here that looks a bit like a chimney, we call it a chimney. This thing, that looks a bit like a hose, what do you think we call it? Oh. A hose, very good. Well, look at you, you catch on really quickly. You're going to connect your hose to a gas supply. Over the summer holidays, Adam's been practising his own experiments and looking forward to his first Year 7 science lesson. It's uh, very exciting to be doing experiments in secondary school because the most coolest experiment we had in primary school was uh, putting liquid detergent and water together to make the best bubbles. All my friends decided to have a little bit of a laugh and call me Brian, Mini Brian Cox. But I would like to meet him one day because he is my idol. OK, Professor Cox, let's see what you can do. Right, the gas is on, so... Hey, we did it! Excellent, well done. Can I have a goat lighting it? Right, I'll have a goat lighting it now. I'll go get another, I'll go get another flame. Right, you got it? Good lad. Well done. Turn the gas on quickly, 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 quickly. Yay! We've spilt a copper claw right on the floor. Is that okay? Excellent, thank you for telling me. Uh, it's not great, but I'll come and clear it up. Thank you. We've got the best science teacher ever. <laughs> He's probably the funniest teacher I've ever met. He's, He's awesome. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's the best teacher. Yeah. He's my favourite teacher. He's really cool. And because he's a GRD, it makes him even better. I've been passionate about, about science since I was, well, since I was their age, to be honest. And it was one of the, th the things that I remember most about my time at, at secondary school, was labs and science lessons and, and, and learning how to use Bunsen burners. And, and after the initial sort of excitement and, and woo had worn off, actually learning about how the world works, and hopefully, you know, we can sort of ignite a little bit of a scientist in, in all of them by the end of the year. Guess why I stars are different colours? Because of the chemicals inside them. Purple stars have got a lot of potassium in. In all my years of school, this has been the best lesson ever. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. It's been a busy morning for our Year 7s, but now it's the most important event in any school day, lunch. But they could be in for a shock when they get to the canteen, which we call Big Cook. Have you seen how long the queues are? As soon as a bell rings, I'll just stuff everything in my bag, zip my bag up, put it on my back and I sprint outside. As soon as the bell rings, you have to run for your life. Yeah, you have to there. run as fast as you possibly can. If you don't make it, like, you have to work from, like, for like 20 minutes. 20? Yeah, that's a bit less. Is it? It's like an hour or something. Do you mean a bit more then? Not a bit less. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. You need a bit more then. Yeah. Queues might be longer than for a One Direction gig, but is the food worth the wait? School dinners are well better than primary year, aren't they? What? 
Do you think school dinners are better here than primary? I've never had them at primary. The food at Kanye's, it's absolutely awesome. It's like you've got so much variety of food. Mm, sounds delicious. And there's already a favourite Year 7 food. Toasties and paninis. That's the main thing at the moment is what they want. They can take them out. It's different to what they normally get from primary school. It's a big step for them to change from a primary to, a, to the senior school and have all these different things, money and different drinks. I can have breakfast, I can have lunch and, and, and like a snack. Kicks. It's been a long morning for Libby. She hasn't been with any of her old primary school friends and wants to catch up with them. Do you want to go for a walk? Like, what? see what they've been Someone else she's keen to track down is older brother Jake. Big cheesy smile. He's in year 10 here, so knows just how it feels to start secondary. So let's hear his advice for Libby. <laughs> when you go to Conyers, just enjoy it and just don't worry too much because it's fine. After a few weeks, you'll settle in and you'll be fine. Thanks. Well, it was worth a try. But now they're at school, it looks like Big Brother's trying to keep out of sight. He, like, always just ignores me all the time because he's been here all by himself for a few years and I think he's, like, settled into Conyers and he hasn't had his little sister there. I don't know where my brother is, though. Now I've come and everything's changed because I can see what he's doing now. I want to see if he has a girlfriend because he always keeps girlfriends secret in our family, like... <laughs> Mm, still no sign of Jake, but at least Libby's starting to chat with some of her new classmates. Do you want my number? My sandwich has got squished. Hey, what sandwich? Is that banana? That's cheese. Oh, right. Right, someone here has dropped that crisp packet, so whoever's responsible, pick it up, please, and put it in the bin. Thank you very much. Could you pick it up rather than just kick it and pop it in the bin? I would do that. Yeah, just pop it in the bin. Thank you. Just over there. A busy lunch break means the conditions are perfect for a uniform patrol. They're pushing our definition of a school shoe, aren't they? Where are your school shoes? Head teacher Mrs Spellman and assistant head Mr Skerry keep a close eye for anybody who flaunts the school rules. Dalpinda, here, come here. So your lovely pair of shoes, okay? Put your trainers away in your bag. Keep your Air Maxes for PE and playing football, all right? And go to lesson in our normal shoes, off you go. I'm strict on uniform because the uniform is our community. The uniform is what makes you a Conyers student. You're about to win my prize for the very shortest skirt I've seen today. Whoa, hang on a minute. And what's that on your I head? have the, the knowledge about what an appropriate Conyers skirt looks like. It, it doesn't reveal very much leg. It comes to the knee and it's not too tight and it's a very sensible shape. It's the sort of skirt that mums and dads approve of, but most year seven girls absolutely detest. But the rules don't just apply to the length of your skirt. I'm not spotting makeup there, am I? That needs to come off. You shouldn't be wearing makeup. Go and take it off. It needs a lady to tell the girls that actually, you know, you might have moved to big school, but still, we're not putting on makeup at lunch times and we're not going to be spraying ourselves with perfume. Mm, looks like some year sevens haven't read the rule book yet. Oh, sir. At the start of the term, each Year 7 tutor group elect two students to be on the school council. Listen in. So we'll start off... We're going to start off with Adam. In 7AG, both Adam and Libby have decided to run for election. But to win votes, they'll have to give a speech. Go. Connie's is a great school. We all know that, don't we? Yeah! yeah. And it's got amazing sports facilities. Uh, now, with your help, and if you give me uh, to be your associate leader for this class, 
I shall uh, give ideas for the sports facility to make it from amazing to unbelievably amazing. So if you vote for me, you shall have the best sports facility in the world. Well done, Adam. Adam seems to have impressed the class, but Libby's having second thoughts about standing up and giving a speech. Right, Libby, if you don't want to do it, that's entirely up to you. We're not going to force you. An important part of any role that you do, it's important to push yourself outside your boundaries. So if you're not confident, do it. Maybe try it. If you don't like it, at least you know you've tried. Can I go last? Yeah, you can go last. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, Libby. Libby just can't face it. OK, guys, well done for everybody. <laughs> right, we're about to run out of time, so what I want you to do is have a think about who you thought was your favourite and why. But Libby's crisis of confidence has upset her. Luckily, teaching assistant Mrs Carter is there to help. I didn't like it. You didn't like it? Don't worry about it. What didn't you like about it, then? I never made a fool of myself. Hey, you never, ever, ever make a fool of yourself. You didn't. Why do you think you made a fool? Because I just, because I feel really embarrassed. I was stood in the line and it was getting closer and closer to me and I was just I was shaking and panicking and I felt sick and I, 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 like, I really get really ill from it and like I was, oh, it was awful and then I just went down and sat down and I just didn't do it. Like I'm in a different class now because I don't have my friends, like yeah. that's oh, what I that's mean. Fantastic. So I just feel like that's why I'm not as confident because I think if I was with my friends, I would feel more confident. confident. It's because I've only just made friends with these girls. And they're lovely girls in our class. Are we going to be confident and go in? Yeah. yeah. Have my blood tooth gone? You have no blood tooth on that lovely face at all, sweetie. Alex has come into science full of beans. Da, 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 da. I love you. Thank you so much. Maybe it was that cheese toastie you had for lunch. What? Bit Leah wrote that. Jiggly doo. Jiggly doo. Shh, thank you. The girl who sits next to you. Shh, Alex, thank you. He's already got the attention of Miss Panda. I think you'd get one for that because you mentioned the trend. Did he? No, he didn't mention Yeah. It. As the beak size increases, the longer can it's one more. Yeah. They used to be really. It bad behaved, used to think I was the class clown and things like that. But now that I'm going into secondary school to Kanye's, I know that it's going to be stricter and that I will have to behave and not do anything bad. Oh, beast! This is the heaviest thing in the world. So but instead of behaving, Alex decides to show off his talent for making weird noises. <laughs> Is that yours? Two, two, and it's like scores. Uh, right, finish what you're doing, and then you want to pass yours over there. Oh. Okay? So, Alex. A <laughs> little bit of chatting going on. I reckon that Alex is really pushing his look. I don't like the chatting over me, especially when I've got lots of things to talk to you about. Do I make myself clear? Oh, yeah. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Good. OK. I want a really small graph in the corner of the graph. Mm. That That's Alex told. Surely he'll get on with his work now. What are you doing? Labelled both Check axes. Line of oh my God, dying. <laughs> Maybe not. And Miss Panda's had enough. Oh my God, he's dead. <laughs> right, can I, can I swap you two because I'm getting a little bit tired of you having a bit of a chat in my lessons. It's not It's not good no, enough. We, we, I'm going to speak to Miss Gibbons about this today. Well, we've been, like, discussing about this thing, cos I'm trying to I don't want to backchat me. Don't backchat teachers. I just want you to listen and get on with your work, please. Cos when you come to Year 8 and Year 9, you've got a lot of work to do. OK, and I, I don't want to have this conversation again. OK, no. that's warning number one. Yep. Yeah. People always say that I'm one of the, like... I'm one of the, the funny ones. I think I just get, like, overexcited sometimes and just bring it out or I do get a bit nervous sometimes and just it just comes out when it's not meant to. 
In English, it's all gone a bit Willy Wonka. So who are the Oompa Lumpers? Who are they? But what's got up Libby's nose? That's one way to get classmate Jess's attention. <laughs> After seven big sneezes, Libby's got her hands full. That's really, really good. <laughs> she does. You scared her off. No, she sneezed about fourteen times, so she needs to teach you. Minging. Exactly. North Shore. North Shore. Jess, do you know what Miss said? She said you were allergic to Jess. <gasps> Miss! That's mean. No one's allergic to me. Yeah, they are. I'm allergic to you. <gasps> Libby? I never, I never. I never. Oh, well, come here then. Pass me your thing. Try and get it. Yes. There you go. <laughs> well, that's boring. <laughs> I went into a tutor group all by myself with none of my friends. It was like really nerve wracking. I think the girls in my farm, they're like really easy just to talk to. You realise that things aren't actually that bad at the just talk and <laughs> I talk too much. I'm going to have the Great Wall of China, but like oh, the Great Wall of Lumberland. <laughs> Great Wall of Lumpers. <laughs> yeah. By any chance, does sulfuric acid have sulfur in it? It does, yeah. And does nitric acid have nitrogen in Yes, absolutely right. Well done. Um, Adam has a passion for science. Good lad. And after only a few days, his enthusiasm hasn't gone unnoticed. By me, anyway. I gave you the uh, chemical formulas for all the acids. Did I? Yeah. Have you noticed something they all have in common? They all have hydrogen in. Bingo. OK, well done. Excellent question and something that is, quite frankly, a bit of a Year 11 question, so well done, mate. You're a clever little clogs, aren't you? <laughs> I'm not done yet! Lesson over. Excuse me! But I've got a bit of a surprise for this lot. For outstanding contribution, the Certificate of Merit goes to Varda. Round of applause. Yay! And Adam. Round of applause, please. It's a great start to life here for Adam. Pernini, Pernini, Pernini. <laughs> and after all her nerves, it looks like Libby's managed to make a good friend too. It's like when I'm with Jess, like she makes me laugh all the time. But I think it's good, like she's a really nice friend and she's really nice. Just she laughs so much. And like I think I laugh as well with her. But I think I've just got to shut up. Because I don't want to get into trouble. Right, year seven. Your chairs need to be tucked But despite under. Alex wanting to turn over a new leaf here, He's already in trouble. Alex, you're staying with me. And his tutor, Miss Gibbons, wants a word. OK, do you know why I want to speak to you? Mm, Any sense. idea what, you, what I want to speak to you about? Is it good or bad? Bad. Put it down. Mm, I don't OK, know. it's just I had a little complaint about you, about the way you spoke to adults, the way that you um, just messed around, basically. Yeah. You were singing. singing. OK. You were singing out loud, OK, when you'd been told to be quiet. Singing out loud. OK, there was a couple of things. Um, just the way you spoke to adults was the main thing. OK. okay. I know that you're all right with me, OK, but when you've got all of these other teachers, OK, you need to treat them with the same respect that you treat me, OK? Because okay. you've been brilliant, OK? And that's okay. the first thing that you've ever done wrong. Okay. OK, I know you all get a little bit excited in farm time, OK, but when you're in a lesson, OK, you need to listen to what that teacher says, OK? OK. Brilliant. OK, I don't want to hear anything else about you. OK. OK, otherwise I'll make you stay with me all day, every day, and you'll get bored. 
Okay. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much for staying and talking to me. Okay. See you soon. See you, miss. I'd say that it felt fair because I don't think I was paying that much attention. Miss Gibbons is like, she's a warm-hearted person. She'll understand you. She'll make sure you're all right and things like that. So, yeah. Starting year seven means taking on lots of new challenges. And despite some wobbles, after only a few days, Alex, Libby and Adam are settling into life at secondary school. So what do you think all in all then, Libs? I really enjoyed you it. enjoyed it? And I don't know why you got upset, because I think it was so fun. Really? And if, you know, like when other people, when like the next years come up to Cotton Years or wherever yeah. they go, I don't think they should worry about it. Oh, well, I'm so pleased. I'm looking forward to in the next few weeks in my future. I want to try and calm it down and uh, do like stay on task, really. And Adam won the election and was chosen to be on the student council. I was pretty surprised when I was chosen because there was a lot of candidates and everyone said after, well done, Adam. <laughs> now I've made loads of new friends, I'm enjoying lessons. I'm just uh, really enjoying uh, the new life of uh, secondary school. Next time on Our School. That's refreshing! Mr Glenn Denning and Miss Gibbons show us that they're more than just new teachers. I can't stand quietness. I love it. Cup of tea! Head cook Julie keeps spirits up in the canteen. <laughs> and you'll get to meet a teaching legend, me. That looks like it's been through the digestive system of a cat. 